Welcome. This is the AP Physics Workbook Solution. Here we have Unit 2, Dynamics. The section is 2.C, which is on forces. Here's the scenario. Carlos pushes a block of mass M across a horizontal surface at a constant speed by applying a force F directly to the right. Before we do this, I would like to give you our four basic forces that we use in this class. You might see the symbol as F of N or just a big N. That is the force normal, which is always pointing away perpendicular to the surface. FG or a big W is the force of gravity that always points down towards the Earth's core. You should never use the F with the subscript W. Then F with a subscript of lowercase f, which is the force of friction, pointing opposite of the forward motion, and you will always need a surface. Fa is the force applied, and that is the force that you apply on the object. Sometimes you might see this as the forward thrust. Using that information, we can answer part A. The dot at the right represents the block. Draw a free body diagram showing and label all the forces. Make sure all the lengths are correct as well. The force that is pointing down we know is the force of gravity. The force going down is force of gravity. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to call that F of gravity. If this is going down at a length of five, this is also going to go up with a length of five. One, two, three, four, five. Force normal. Then the force going to the right is the force that is being applied. One, two, three, four. And the opposite direction for the force applied is the force of friction. One, two, three, four. Because there is a surface. Please understand that there are two directions. There is the y axis, we call that the vertical axis and the x-axis which is called the horizontal axis. The forces exist on either the x-axis or the y-axis. So part B. For each line of the deviation, explain, wo explain in words what was mathematically done. The first line is done for us as an example. Here we start with Newton's second law, which states that the sum of all the forces exerted on an object is equal to the object's mass times the acceleration. The next step, I, I described it as there are two forces in the vertical direction, which is your y-axis, the normal force upwards, and the gravitational force downwards. The, the direction labeled as up as positive and down as to be negative. Here you see Fn, which is going pointing up, which is positive, and I put a negative on the force gravity because it's going down. The next line. The box is not accelerating. The scenario says that it had a constant speed, so there is no change in velocity, so the acceleration is zero. Another word for that is called kinetic equilibrium. So you can set A equals to zero. You could see it here. They cross out the A and, he's, and they show the zero, which makes the right-hand side of the equation becomes completely zero because mass times a zero acceleration is automatically zero. The next line states that the Fn minus Fmg is equal to zero. When this goes to zero, you know that these two combinations have to be equal now. So you can add the Fmg to the right hand side. Therefore, you should get that the normal force is equal to the force of gravity in this case, which is on the horizontal surface. Okay. 
Part C. You can read the scenario to yourself. But Blake claims that the velocity of the block is constant, so the net force acting on the block must be zero. Thus, the normal force, Fn, is equal to the weight, which is, they wrote, F subscript mg, the force of friction, and equals to the applied force, which is the F pool. Before we do that, I would like you to take a look at these notes. Alright? Here's the scenario. It's exactly the same. You are applying a pull force that has a theta or an angle associated with it. And here are the two problems. First of all, the first question asks you to find the acceleration in the x-axis. Then the question also asks you to solve for the normal force. Please, I would like you to take a look right here. And it talks about how there are two forces that the F pool is broken up into. The Y part and the X part. The X part, the force, uh, force pulled in the X direction is going to have a cosine theta part. And then the Y direction part is going to have the force a plot force pull but now it's just going to have the sine part to it that is when you break up the vector into its x and y coordinate because remember when we do these problems we always want to deal with x axes and the y axes so if it's in a weird angle, you have to make sure you break it up into your X and the Y parts. So here you could take a look that the forces that are actually acting on the Y are three parts. Force normal minus the force gravity plus the force pulled, which is in the Y direction. All right, so it changes very dramatically. So I'm just going to pause this video if you would like to take notes on it. And here's the bottom end. With that in mind, that should give you ideas on how to answer this question. Make sure you follow the checklist. This is what I wrote. One, I would state what Blake did correctly. So Blake is correct that the net force exerted on the block must be zero because the velocity of the block is constant. That is called kinetic equilibrium. So the A is equal to zero in that case. Everything else he mentioned about the forces are incorrect. And I listed all the statements that should be correct that he got wrong. I stated first, the force pulled knee has an angle in it, therefore it should have an X component and a Y component. Two, the vertical direction have three forces. The force normal, which is up, the force gravity going down, that's why there's a minus, plus the F pool sine theta part, okay? Because this is in the vertical direction. On the horizontal direction, there are just two forces. The force of friction that goes opposite and the force pull but it is the cosine part. The total force in the system is when you combine the forces in the vertical, which is F of Y, and in the horizontal, F of X. So you can write that the total force in this system is Fn minus Fg plus F pull sine theta minus the force of friction plus the force pull cosine of theta. All right. And there you go. That is your solution for unit 2.C.